Roblox channel. Now, before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. You guys, my Girls World merch is still available at HeyCuties.com. So make sure to not miss out on the cutest merch and go get yours right now. Anyway, so in today's role playing video, there was a new boy at school, and me and Sky both fell in love with him. So we got into a huge fight deciding who gets him. Did you do the homework that's due today? What homework? You're kidding, right? Do I look like I'm kidding? The social studies homework that's due now? No, that's due on Thursday. It says so on the sheet. Does not. Does too. Ew, even when you guys argue, it's so pathetic. So true, Ashley. Trish, Ashley, you're pathetic. I'm telling you, Sky, it's due today. Good morning, class. Would I be able to get everyone's attention before I collect your homework? to get to know everyone. Um, that's about it. I am sure they are all excited to get to know you too. Now go have a seat. Hey, girly, sorry for calling you annoying in class earlier. I was just so sure I was right, but I was wrong. That's okay, girly. I forgive you. Oh, I gotta get a math, girl. I'll get you later. Bye, Sky. Oh, hey, Lyle. Oh, um, hi. I'm sorry. I don't know your name. Oh, it's okay. I'm Mackenzie. Nice to meet you, Mackenzie. Have you lived in Brookhaven long? Just all my life. Oh, sweet. Do you like it here? It's only the best. You're gonna love it. Yeah, I guess. Moving somewhere new is always weird. I don't know. I guess I didn't really want to move here at first. I miss my old friends. We only moved because my dad got a new job. Ugh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Well, if you're ever looking for someone to help you settle into Brookhaven, you know where to find me. Social studies class, yeah. And I do have a house outside of social studies class, but yeah, maybe we could hang out sometime. That would be great. I don't really have any friends here yet, and I could really use some. Well, now you have me, and I do have to say, I am a pretty great friend. You can ask Guy. What do you say we hang out at the arcade this week? That sounds awesome. Yay, I'm so excited. I'll see you then. Sounds great. See ya. A few moments later. Oh, hey there. Hey. Is this English class? No. I can't find my English class, and now I'm going to be late on my first day. No problem. I can help you. I'm Sky, by the way. Hey, Sky. I'm Lyle. Yeah, I know that. You were kind of introduced in front of the whole class. Oh, yeah, right. That's embarrassing. Don't be embarrassed. I literally embarrass myself all the time. You said you could help me find my English class? Sure thing. It's actually really easy. It's right next to the door. The door on the left. Oh, duh. At least I was close. Yeah, only a few feet off. Hey, uh, what are you doing this weekend? Um, is this a trick question? No, I was just wondering. Oh, um, well, I don't have any plans yet. Would you want to maybe go to the movies with me? I've never seen the movie theater here. Yeah, sure. That sounds super fun. Cool, so I'll see you this weekend. Sure thing. Also, I'm not trying to get rid of you, but that English class, two minutes ago. Oh, I thought you said it started in 15. Yeah, that's math class. Oh, shoot. I better get going then. See you this weekend, Sky. Later that same evening. So, did you get an extension on the homework? During lunch, I had to go talk to the teacher, and yeah, she's giving me an extension, but she's docking my grade like 10 points. Oh, that sucks. You're telling me. So, how is your day after social studies? I feel like I barely got to see you at lunch after my dumb meeting. Okay, so you're not gonna believe this. Tell me, tell me, tell me! So, after you ran off to math class, I started talking to Lyle. No way! Well 
way. He is so cute and so sweet. And we're going to the arcade together this weekend. Can you believe it? No way, because he came into my math class because he got lost and asked me out to the movies this weekend. Uh, that can't be. Why? Am I not good enough for him? I didn't say that, but he already has plans with me. Well, I didn't ask him out. He asked me out. But you said yes? some complaints that you two are getting a bit loud. Would you mind taking your discussion outside? Gladly. Meanwhile... I cannot believe you just got us kicked out of the ice cream shop. Me? You blame everything on me. You are just at fault because you won't stop seeing Lyle. Why would I stop seeing Lyle? Just because you asked me to? If it's like that, then you stop seeing him. I'm tired of you always telling me what to do. Well, that makes two of us. You cannot moments later. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't just come in here slamming doors, young lady. Ah! What's the matter? Mom, you're not gonna believe this. Then tell me. Okay, so there's this new kid in class, Lyle. He is so cute, and I really, really like him. After class, we made plans to go out this weekend. Then Lyle met up with Skye and asked her out. And even worse, Mom, she said yes. Can you believe it? So Sky and I got into a huge fight. Oh my gosh. I know, right? No, you're being crazy. Me? What about how Sky is being? I don't care how Sky is being. Sky is your best friend, Mackenzie, period. That means Lyle is off limits for both of you. Well, that is not fair to me because I asked him first. Doesn't matter when two friends like the same guy, neither of them can have him. That rule has probably gone all the way back to Cavewoman. Lyle is officially off limits. Ah! I have to say, in you, Mackenzie. I thought you valued your best friend more than this. I was really hoping that you were mature enough to see that no boy is ever important enough to come between you and your best friend. I didn't think about it that way. You should, because boys will come and go, but your friendship with Skye is forever. <sighs> what do you think I should do? I think first thing tomorrow before school, you find your best friend and you go apologize to her. Whatever things were said today, you take them back and let her know that she is the most important person to you. Okay, Mom, thanks. Anytime. I'm sure Lyle won't be the first boy you both like, but I hope he will be a great lesson for the both of you. I'm gonna talk to Skye first thing tomorrow morning. Good girl. The next day. Hi. Hey. So. So. I'm so sorry, Skye. Yesterday. I don't either, but I want to work everything out. Also, I didn't mean to make you drop your ice cream. It was a complete accident. I know it was. I was being dumb. I was being dumb too. Friends? Friends. I don't know what made me so crazy. I should have never spoken to you that way. No, I should have backed off. I just thought you liked Josh, so I didn't even think of you liking Lyle. That was on me. No, you're right. I can be really bossy. Let's never, ever, ever, ever. Never. It's the worst on the planet. I felt so bad all night, I could barely sleep. Me too. Even if it was only a few hours, it seemed like a million years without talking to you. I know. <sighs> I'm so 
so glad I have you back. I am too. And don't even worry about Lyle. I'm calling off our plans. Not if I call mine on first. I mean, he's cute and all, but no way is worth arguing with my best friend. You can say that again. Plus, I'd much rather go to the arcade with you. You know, if you think about it, Lyle was kind of in the wrong here. Huh? What do you mean? I mean... He made plans with you and then immediately after asked me out. You don't put best friends against each other like that. Right. I even told him that you were my best friend. And he still went ahead and did it. And that is the not the right thing to do. Not at all. So, what do you say we do? I say we go confront him. I am right behind ya. Moments later. Hello? Hello, Lyle. Yeah, hi, Lyle. Um, can I help you too? You actually can. I don't think I'm going to be able to go to the arcade with you this weekend. Oh? Yeah, and I'm going to have to cancel our plans for the movie as well. Oh, well, that's really too bad. I was excited to hang out with you guys. Here's the thing, Lyle. Skye is my best friend. You can't just agree to go out with me and then ask her out. Because you never get in between two best friends. It's kind of girl code. And besides, no guy is ever going to come between us. I'll always pick Mackenzie. Yeah, and you might be cute and new and fun, but you'll never be Sky. Aw, thanks, girly. Wait, wait, you two have it all wrong. Huh? What do you mean? I don't like you like that, either of you. I don't want a girlfriend. I'm too young and not interested in having one. Uh and I really like both of you, but as friends. You seem really cool, that's all. I'm just trying to make friends, not cause any trouble. I'm really sorry. No, Lyle, I think we're the ones who should be sorry. I think we misread this situation just a smudge. Or maybe more than a smudge, but you get the point. It must be hard moving somewhere new and not having any friends. Yeah, it's super hard. How about this? Over the weekend, we can all go to the arcade together and then go to the movies as friends. All of us. Really? Yeah, you're pretty cool, and Sky is the coolest person I know, so you'll be a good match. Thanks for the invite and making me feel included. Of course, you just be lucky you're in our friend group and not actually in Ayla's. All right, Lyle, we gotta get to class. We'll see you later. Oof, good save, Lyle. That's the last time I ever hit on two best friends. <laughs> And congratulations to Callie Brown for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done. Love you so much, cute.